to Brush Up on EMS. I'm Bob and today we're going to be showing you, the person at home, how to create your very own mannequin uh, with common household materials so that you can practice patient assessment um, when you're doing virtual classrooms, uh, if you're needing to practice at home uh, in between classes, or maybe if you just want to have some more fun as an EMS caregiver. So what you see before you is a couple pillows. Um, any pillow really will do that's around these various sizes. As you can see, um, it's about the length of my forearm, about 12 inches long there. As well, here is another about 14 by 14 inch pillow. Uh, we're gonna use those here in just a little bit. A jacket uh, with a zipper and sleeves. It's very important to have long sleeves so that we can recreate the arms and as well a hood so that you can position the head in there. A throw blanket um, that is uh, a nice large throw blanket because we're going to use that for extra uh, density to add to the body. And then a large queen size comforter um, or full size comforter, just whatever you have at home. If it's large and it's thick, uh, it will help create the body. Some aluminum foil, maybe a Sharpie, so that you can create a face by implanting it on your face and getting the mold of your nose and your eyes and your mouth. Um, and then a two liter pop bottle or a uh, two liter juice bottle. And this is going to simulate the sternum. And then later on, after I go through how to create these, you can test around and you can play around with different mannequins and you can even make your own very little infant mannequin with sternum to practice CPR and practice OB delivery. So let's get right into this. So what you see before here is the uh, comforter laid out flat so we can get it as the length of a possible human body. Now realize we're not going to use the head. So we're gonna need to fold down a little bit to add a little bit of circumference to the chest. So we're gonna fold down about a third of the way you might do a little bit less depending on the length. Remember, you wanna have adequate length to your legs uh, so that we can practice splinting with these mannequins, that we can practice taking care of hip fractures and the various different uh, patient emergencies. Now, once you get that set, you're gonna need that other throw blanket because we're gonna add a little bit of uh, more depth to the, the patient and you're going to throw that out in the middle. And this is going to get rolled up. And again, it's going to make a bigger chest. And it's going to add a little bit more to the legs. So we're going to start on whichever side is your preference. It really doesn't matter. We're going to start on one side. And we're going to start rolling like we're rolling a cigar. And we're going to roll, roll, roll till we get roughly to the middle. And as you can see, we're already starting to get some diameter. You know, you don't have to do these super tight because we want it to be bulky enough that it's like an actual mannequin. Then move to the other side. And you're going to, again, roll, roll, roll like a cigar. Roll it up towards the middle. And again, you see that we've got two matching sides. You can start to see the legs starting to take form. Now, one thing that I did mention in the previous video is you're going to need rubber bands. And these rubber bands are going to help hold your legs and hold your, um, your body in the form that we put it. So now comes the most technical part of it all. You're going to feel down till you feel that area that you doubled up the area on. So you can see the legs going further down there. I'm making the crease. And we're going to fold up. We're going to twist. And we're going to place down on either side. Okay, that again, let me go ahead and fold this back. Okay, so we have the legs. We're going to fold up. We're going to twist. And we're going to fold down to either side. As you can see, you're, it's already starting to take shape as a mannequin. So now all we have to do is apply our rubber bands to start creating the arms and the legs. 
So I use my knee to keep this in the nice form it is. I'm going to go up there, and this is going to create pretty much the bicep. We're going to come over to the other side. And this mannequin's a little wonky, but hey, every mannequin can be their own. Everybody's different, right? We're all God's creatures. And we're going to move down to the lower legs. And we're going to, this, this part is a little bit more difficult to do, but you're going to start pulling the rubber band so you start getting the leg to start moving up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you start getting the idea. Do it to the other side. And you can see there, now we've kind of got a mannequin body built. Now all we've got to do is we've got to apply our coat that we discussed earlier. Tuck the arms in the sleeve. And a zipper works the best because then it's a little bit easier to tuck since this mannequin is lifeless. That ain't going to help you get dressed. You're going to have to dress them yourself. Now, as you see, we've got an abnormally shaped abdomen there, so that's where an extra pillow will come in handy. And if you need to, if you have a longer pillow, tuck it up underneath. And that's going to come in handy here in just a second when we bring our two liter bottle in. Zip up the coat. As you can see, our mannequin is starting to take a little bit more shape. We've got our legs here. And you always can take an extra rubber band or two, more rubber bands or rope, uh, whatever you got on hand tape. You know, if you're gonna leave this mannequin in place longer, that works great. And you can throw that on there. Then we take our final pillow and we place it in the head. Tuck it in there. If you need to make sure the head doesn't come off, if you've got one of those types of hoods that has a uh, zip ties around it, you can use that. Now all we have to do is apply the face. Throw it right inside that hood there. We have our face on our mannequin, and now all we need to do is make it an EMS mannequin. Every EMS mannequin comes complete with a sternum that we can practice compressions on. Slide that right up there, about where the sternum would be. Get it nice and up there. Close the coat down around, and then make sure that you can feel it. And there's your sternum. If you need to add some rope to tighten up the mannequin because it's a little bit loose, that's perfectly acceptable. But maybe you're practicing an OB scenario, so you need to set up your mannequin against your, your dresser. And you talk your, your patient through, ma'am, we're going to go ahead and deliver your baby. And you start positioning the legs in the position you need. And you're checking for crowning. And we've got our child that we can place right up in there. Head down, coming out, and you go down. Man, we're going to deliver your child on the next contraction. I want you to push. And you can deliver the child out. Oh, the child's not breathing. We even got a bottle in here because every EMS mannequin has got a sternum with CPR capabilities. This is how you can create a mannequin from home. I hope this helps you guys out in the EMS field right now who are dealing with distance learning and how to better benefit students when we have to use different ways to educate them when we can't meet in the classroom. From us at here at Brush Up on EMS, I'm Bob. Have a great week and stay safe.